In this ballistic pendulum experiment, we will begin by determining the mass of our projectile, which is this metal ball, using a common electronic balance. In addition to this measurement, we will also determine the length of the pendulum arm by measuring from the center of the projectile launcher to the center of the pivot point. Next, we will lock the pendulum arm out of the way and load the projectile by placing it in the end of the spring gun launcher. Using this ramrod, we can compress the spring to three different levels, but for this first set of tests, we'll start at the lowest level. An audible click can be heard when this first setting is reached, and an indicator can be seen through the side of the launcher. Replacing the pendulum arm, we'll need to move the measurement needle back to the zero mark before launching the ball by pulling up on the yellow launch string. As the pendulum moves to its highest level, the needle of the scale is deflected, and we can determine the highest angle the pendulum reached. We'll record this value, then reset the experiment to conduct an additional two trials for the first spring setting on the projectile launcher. To set up the next series of trials, we'll now compress the spring to the second setting. This means that two clicks should be heard, and the indicator should appear farther along the side of the launcher. In addition to the greater compression of the spring, we will also change the second set of trials slightly by not moving the indicator needle back all the way to zero. Because even the relatively low resistance of the needle will affect the experimental outcome, we will only need to move the needle back to a location close to where it was deflected in the first set of trials. This way, the needle will not have as far to be pushed. Just as before, three trials will be conducted at this spring compression level with the deflection angle recorded in your data sheet. For the last three trials, the third and largest spring compression setting will be used. Pushing the ramrod into the launcher as far as it will go should result in three audible clicks and the yellow indicator moving to the deepest location possible. Just as before, the measurement needle should be moved back to a location that was close to the maximum deflection reached by the second set of trials. And three projectile launches will be completed with the data recorded in the provided table. Now, a number of calculations will need to be performed using this collected data.